Age of Empires 4. Um, let's go into my first multiplayer battle. I'm going to go into this. I've done the tutorial. That is about it. Um, and we're going to try to verse some players. And do a 1v1. And uh, <laughs> all right, here we go. I'm so nervous. The training mastery helps you prepare for multiplayer. Right? Complete the training mastery by playing five art. Of oh, I have to complete five art of war challenges. Okay, well, let's do the campaign then. All right, the Normans in. Some events leave a deep mark on history, but this none is sweet. on the land. This is the site of the Battle of Hastings. After almost a thousand years, no traces of the bloody conflict can be seen. But here, the fate of England turned. It's where a king was killed. Wow, so the live video within the video game is pretty cool. And then they... You know, digitize it in little ways. That's awesome. I don't think I've ever seen that in a video game before. October 14th, 1066. We know what happened here on this day, thanks to this. The Bayer Tapestry. A carefully preserved illustrated record of events. It shows the main players. Harold, the newly crowned Anglo-Saxon King of England, and his challenger, William, Duke of Normandy. William claimed the previous king had promised him the crown. So, he assembled an army and prepared to sail to England to fight King Harold for the throne. But a storm thwarted his. Like, look at that. That's so sick. Meanwhile, Harold discovered that a Viking invasion had landed in the north. Another Ooh. threat to his crown. So he raced to fight them. In France, William waited for the right conditions to sail across the Channel to England. The weather cleared. He seized his chance. Two hundred and fifty miles north, Harold had defeated the Vikings. Now, hearing of William's arrival, his army sped south. At nine o'clock in the morning, on this hill, William's Norman army were ready to do battle with Harold's Anglo Saxon men. The stage was set, and up for grabs, England itself. All right, play. On October 14th, 1066, William of Normandy stood ready for battle at the base of a hill. The high ground belonged to King Harold of England and his Anglo-Saxon army. Here, on this hilltop, the fate of England would be decided. All right, so we just go right into it. Is it mine? Oh, but I can't. I can't move my camera around. William's Norman army made the first charge, launching a direct assault on the shield wall. Okay, buffing our attack speed, moving in. against the shield wall, it would not yield. 
As one man fell, another took his place. Overlapping shields in tight formation. Realizing his army could not break the shield wall, William called for a retreat. Ooh, excuse me. Fan retreat? Are retreating? He aimed to lure the Anglo Saxons into a false sense of victory, causing them to break formation. William's feigned retreat was working. The Anglo Saxon army broke their shield wall formation, leaving gaps for William to make a move. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. We got a gap going here. Nice. See if we can. This looks kind of weak over here. No longer in shield wall formation. William could pick them off as they charged. reinforced William's army. Okay. Got some more soldiers over here. Is that what old French sounds like? It sounds like a sounds like old French. Maybe it's a mix of uh, English and French. To push back the invaders, but William had an answer. His sharp-eyed archers. Yes. Yes, my sharp-eyed archers. Additional Norman archers joined the battle. Near an enemy unit. Of course. Injured leader. Anglo Saxon archers joined the fray, and the Normans' deadly cavalry ready to charge. But first, William's forces had to eliminate the enemy spearmen, whose sturdy pole arms could easily bring down a horse. Man, so these archers can't really break through, huh? Wow. 
with the threat of spearmen cleared from the field, William's cavalry was free to charge at the Anglo-Saxon archers. Oh, here we go. Saxon army was in disarray. Their shield wall had been neutralized and their numbers were dwindling. Now the only thing standing between William and victory was King Harold himself. The last of Harold's men encircled their king, prepared to lay down their lives to save his. Alright, looks like we're going to win this pretty easily. But I think it was meant to be won. I don't know if there is any lose situation. Hey, got him. The Anglo-Saxon King Harold had fallen. In the confusion, some loyal soldiers fought to the death, while others scattered in panic. Leaderless and defeated, the last of the Anglo-Saxon army fled for their lives. The Normans celebrated victory over the English king, but William's quest to rule England was just beginning. I just realized something. Oh, maybe not. All right, so killed the Anglo-Saxon king. Um, I believe we have to do five of these. So that was the first one. At the Battle of Hastings, the death of one man changed the course of history. The Anglo-Saxon king Harold was killed here on England's south coast. His army defeated by William of Normandy. Anglo-Saxon rule was over forever. At Westminster Abbey on Christmas Day 1066, William was crowned the first Norman King of England. Now he had to secure power across the country. He began yeah, these videos are so cool. I love landscape. them building cathedrals and castles at strategic locations. Nothing like them had been seen in England before. They reminded the Anglo-Saxon population exactly who was in charge. But not all were content with living under Norman rule. Anglo-Saxon revolts broke out across the country. King William acted quickly to crush these rebellions. But there was one region where dissent was spiraling out of control. The north of England. In 1069, a group of lords from Northumbria formed an alliance with Viking invaders. Together they approached Norman-held York. 
a large city with an important cathedral, still protected by ancient Roman walls. But the walls couldn't save your mother. The city and the castle fell to the rebels. William's new kingdom was under threat. He had to get the city back under Norman control. William had no choice but to order his men north. But as the Norman forces set off on their long march towards York, how much resistance from the rebels would they encounter? I just went to grab a water. Um, I'll also see if uh, I need to make cuts. Like these load screens might be a little too much. We'll see though. Also, maybe I'll just uh, cut this up and do 30 minute segments. Um, maybe even 20 minutes. 20 minutes is a good time. Uh, I enjoy viewing uh, YouTube videos like this for. Alright, Road to York, 1069. William the Conqueror marched north with his army of Normans determined to take back the rebel-held city of York. But in his path stood rebel towns that harbored William's northern enemies. He would take the towns back by force. Yes, by force. All right. I'd like to know about uh, organization of the army. Uh, right here. Okay. Like a line formation. Wedge. Okay. So I wonder if um, the game is just preset to have certain type of units in certain parts of the formation. Obviously, you want your archers in the back protected. So it seems to do that pretty well. So what if I like mess this up? Are they going to go into a... Interesting. See, I don't know what's going on here with this function. I'd assume they'd go into a perfect formation, but... It looks like they kind of group together. Let's see, like, if I put this guy over here... He was grouped with them. And then within his subgroup that the game just picks up on, he goes to the front because he's a horseman. And you want to charge with the horseman. Interesting. Alright, let's go attack. Interesting things to pick up on. Just gonna crush him. Nice. We got some villagers now. Town of Middlethorpe, establishing their presence in the north. With reinforcements to his army soon arriving, William would need more resources to supply them. 
Nice little game save there. I'll just have you guys kill them. Start getting food. Build four additional farms. All right. Yeah, I can do that. Where's our farm right here? These guys going. Two additional houses, okay. Yeah, these these villagers need to get pumping. Let's go, let's go. Bit two on that. Oh, there's longbows. Hopefully, I'm not going out of order. Stood in defiance to William's rule. Alright, let's get some wood going. Some houses gone. I can only build one house. <laughs> Come on now. The Norman army was now well supplied by a town. But it would take a sustained effort to keep the army at full strength. Yeah, how do I... Oh, I got reinforcements. Woo! Let's go. Alright, it looks like our army is about doubled. Shh. 
Alright, let's just go for it. No! <laughs> I didn't even know I had a sheep there. <laughs> just came out of the fog of war to snipe that sheep. It's kind of funny. But uh, here we go. We make our assault. Let's go. So we got a little side road. Looks like we'll be using that later to get to the main settlement. But for now, we're just going to kind of travel the, this road. Yo. <laughs> See, this is what's going to be difficult about this game is, is that micromanagement right there. Nice. With the Fulford Rebels eliminated, William was one step closer to York. Knowing he would face strong resistance in the city, William prepared to bolster his cavalry. Get out of here. Construct a landmark, build a stable. Yeah. Let's, um, I don't know if this is necessary or not, but we're going to do it. I want to see how they build. Will they auto complete that? No, they won't. Interesting. All right, where's our stable? Do I have to age up to do that? Yeah, I do. Produce archers at 100% speed. Heals all nearby out of combat units by two every 1.5 seconds. Okay, so in the first tutorial, we had that available to us. I don't want this just so we can heal up. Yeah, and if I put it like right there, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, you guys. Okay. 
They're attacking me? The Danes? What? Come on now. William's army held back the Danes' attack, but they threatened to return unless William paid them in gold. What? Send 800 gold or destroy the camp. We got to destroy the camp. I just got 800 gold and I'm making 270 a minute. Yeah, I don't know about that one. The berries or anything. No. Okay, cool. Good things are happening. Good things are happening. Yeah, everybody, get that good healing. They're all still chopping away, that's good. Oh! Yes! Reinforcements. Are you kidding me? We're going to get a bunch of these going. Need more food. Let's get a move on. The Normans discovered the source of the Dane threat, an outpost on the water. William had a choice. Bypass the encampment, destroy it, or pay the Danes the gold they demanded. No. They get no gold. No. There 
There we go. kind of crazy I was able to burn that tower down outside of the walls. Wow, that was fast. In destroying the Dane outpost, William stripped the rebels of a crucial ally. Alright, let's go. Heal up. William's ultimate goal was within his grasp. All that remained was to enter York and destroy its keep. So there's a couple city gates it looks like two city gates and then the town itself should be nice strange how uh, barracks is right here um okay so they're they're divvied up by age interesting Let's see what else you guys can find over here. Another stone vein here. This will build up right there. All right, let's go make our attack. I don't know if I need siege units. Sake of this tutorial, but we'll see. The Norman army poured into York and began sacking the town as they bore down on the keep.
Serious? Oh, they're attacking me here? No way. No, stop it. Barely, just barely beating him here. Heavy casualties. Put this back up. Again. Jeez, they just keep pushing. Ah, I just need to get a bigger army. Really. Jeez. Just need food. There we go. Get that food really gone.
The keep fell to the Norman army, and York was secured. The Northern Rebellion was over, and William mm. the Conqueror was uncontested as King of England. Nice. Alright. Hopefully that's the whole Norman campaign, but I expect that's not the case. Yeah. All right, guys, uh, so that's going to be the end of this video. I'll go ahead and ed edit it and get it out as fast as possible. Um, keep an eye open for my next video, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe.